Hey guys, Ryan over here. You might know me from other server videos such as how to multi count and get away with it and... Well, that's probably it. But we're not here today to talk about me, we're here today to talk about the Soware community update. I thought I'd get the face come out for this one because at the moment I'm getting hundreds of messages a day saying Roy Olivia, your voice is like smooth buttery chocolate to my ears. I bet you've got a face to match. Well ladies, I'm sorry to disappoint. Now if you want in-depth analysis and a review of what this means for so rare, then I'm not your guy. No, you want some of the other YouTubers who are, you know, a lot more smart than me. Smarter? A lot smarter than me. But it was still a pretty big update, so I thought I'm, I'm gonna have to react to it, and uh, my style is more of a speedrun kind of thing. So without further ado, let's have a look at the so rare community update. So rare is a player-owned fantasy NFT company. In 2021, 15 million fantasy teams were submitted. That's pretty incredible. Our community, your feedback, your support and passion for football is what motivates us. We've grown together. Over the next year, we'll focus on three key areas. We've committed to regular, comprehensive keynote updates like this one. Cool. We will also be setting up a monthly newsletter to consistently communicate upcoming launches and auctions, new product updates, and spotlight members of our community. Cool! We've heard your requests for more clarity on rewards and gameplay. Okay, here we go, an update to the rewards. This year, our target is to reserve up to 40% of our card allocation for rewards. I'm sorry, what? Hold that thought, Nicholas. If we go to the Discord, we can see that there has always been this 50, 40, 10 reward split in play. So if that's your target for the upcoming year, isn't that just the same target as the last year? And yes, I know, you just said you're offering more clarity on rewards, which technically, fair enough, you are offering more clarity on rewards. But let's go back and listen to that statement carefully well, one more time. Our target is to reserve up to 40% of our card allocation for rewards. Up to 40% up to 40% of the allocation is for rewards. So, you know, as I said, basically what's been going on for the last year anyway. And uh, if I get my remembering glasses on, rewards have been pretty shit for the last year. To avoid issues that come with Ethereum fluctuations and bring more stability to the platform, we'll tie ETH to the US dollar. This will apply to both podium wins and thresholds. It will be $25 for 205 points and $50 for 250 points. You know what? Fine. Kind of going to suck in the short term, but for the long term sustainability of the game, it's probably the right thing to do. We'll simplify the entry requirement rules for the rare division and remove common cards. This means that managers will need a team of five rare cards to compete. Wonder how people are reacting to this in the Discord then. Let's go take a look. Come on, you're naive if you thought commons were going to stay in D4 forever, and you've got five months to prepare for this. It was bound to happen eventually, and 205 points is still achievable, even with a DMP goalkeeper, including XP and captaincy bonus. You're looking at around 50 points per outfielder to get the first threshold, so this should definitely be possible. Now, I've got my analytical glasses on, and I've done the maths on this. I've even actually drawn you a graph of what I think will happen to the price of rare goalkeepers, especially DMPs, over the coming months. New weekly tournaments will make game weeks more engaging for every Sora manager. We'll start with Legend Challenge, where you can fill the team with at least one Legend card. Legends will take the score of the best scoring player on the team and the position on their card. Crikey, there you go. It took about six months, but we finally got some utility for the Legend cards. Now, let me get that graph back out again. In Underdog League, each player selected for a team must have a low average score. Cool, very nice. Finally, we are adding the Specialist League, where managers will combine different types of players. Low, medium, and high average scoring. Cool, very nice. Managers will need to have both knowledge and skill to submit the best balanced lineup. Well, that's me fucked then. Thank you, Nico, for sharing those important and exciting updates. Dan? I'm Ryan Spoon. Where the fuck is Dan? This is our newly redesigned game lobby. With an efficient, clean design, it's easy to navigate 
and has areas for news that matters to you and your teams. Yep, decent, looks clean and tidy. There's a new shield that keeps the player front and center and gives some spatial differentiation that highlights some unique, great backgrounds. Yeah, <laughs> shit, they look pretty good, fair play. Here's how the cards will look across all scarcities. We're so excited about these cards that we're actually introducing five variations for each limited, rare, and super rare card. That one's nice. For this upcoming season, you'll be able to play, follow, and collect in our new So Rare mobile app. We think this is a tremendous step forward, and we'd love for you to dive in, play, and to share your thoughts and feedback. Don't tell me what to do, Ryan. Here's the entry and login screen with some new colorful, fun animations and visuals. Ooh, fun animations. A quick tutorial and overview will pop up when you log in for the first time. Ooh, a tutorial. Scroll down to see all your teams and entries. Don't tell me what to do, Ryan. You'll be able to access and reveal any earned rewards from this screen as well. You know I don't win rewards, Ryan. Opt in to app alerts here to receive key results and notifications tied to your team and your players. Oh, now I can see how shit I'm doing in real time thanks to notifications. Cheers, Ryan. Okay, I'm being sarcastic. It, it looks pretty good, to be fair. We hope you enjoyed the first ever Sora community event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did, yeah. Okay, speed run complete. Overall, you know, uh, I can see why there's a bit of a mixed reaction. The mobile app is obviously a welcome development. The new Underdog, Specialist and Legends leagues look like they could be a lot of fun, so nothing to complain about there. I'm a bit more neutral on the whole common removal from the Rare Divisions thing. I think it had to happen and was bound to happen eventually, so why not now? But I can understand why some people don't like this, especially the smaller managers that are afraid of the potential chasm that could develop between the Limited and Rare Divisions. Definitely something a Limited Pro Division could help fix. And then the negative for me, it seems like the rewards are still a bit fucked. They claim to be fixing them in this video without actually mentioning how they were fixing them. If anything, they're staying the same and they're still not ready to add a tier 4 or tier 5 to get those DMPs into the prize pool. So overall for me, an update to the rewards took a bit of an L here. But hey, we will see how this all develops in the coming months and weeks. So uh, let me check the last 15 seconds of the video here because I'm pretty sure they're about to make one more announcement. And you can expect us to continue to share more exciting news in the coming weeks and months as we continue to grow together. We hope to see you soon. Oh, so the terms and conditions are still unchanged and Blackpool are still allowed to cheat? Well, okay then, this has been Roy Livy. Cheers for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.